guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. It is my review on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collab Palette. Now there are a million of these floating around on the internet, but I just want to tell you guys mine is going to be unique because first of all, I have a lot of experience with the Morphe brand. Second of all, I'm not getting paid to do this. Third of all, I'm not friends with Jaclyn Hill. So she'll probably never find this video and that's okay. Uh, but if you're interested in watching my very honest review, just stay tuned. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day, so you do get a lot of content from me. If you're interested, join the family and also check me out on Instagram. My handle is Karen Harris Makeup. I'm usually always updating on there about new makeup launches and to show you guys my makeup of the day and things like that. So you can always find me on the internet somewhere. But without further ado, let's get into my review of this palette. Now, I was gonna start filming and I decided to grab all my other Morphe palettes because I just thought, you know what, let's get into the archives of things and really do some investigation. Um, but overall, let me just tell you really quick, this is what the palette looks like. It's beautiful, it's white. I already got mine dirty because of course it's white. Silver, if you watch Jaclyn Hill on Snapchat or just watch any of her videos, when she films in her home, this, these are like her favorite colors, these are her tones. She loves whites and silvers and she's kind of a bougie bitch really. Um, she's definitely very extra, lots of highlighter, um, you know, that's her thing, that's her style. So it is what it is. This palette retails for $38, now a regular Morphe palette retails for $22.99. When I say a regular Morphe palette, I mean these ones with a plastic shell. Um, that also contain 35 eyeshadows, so that's kind of the rundown there. As far as how much product these palettes contain, let's see here, it says 1.98 ounces is 56.2 grams if anybody cares, and it has a 24 month lifespan. So you can use this for 24 months and your eyeballs won't fall out. Also, this palette is made in China, which most of us know about Morphe. If you haven't seen the Stephanie Nicole video on Morphe, I would 100% recommend watching that. She is a very, very thorough YouTuber reviewer here on the internet, and she is actually in the cosmetics industry, so I think she gives you a really good rundown on the brand Morphe. You're not gonna like everything she has to say, but here's the thing about Morphe. They are affordable, so if you're looking for good bang for your buck, and you don't mind putting a few toxic things on your eyelids, then you're gonna be okay. I'm just kidding, I don't actually know if it's toxic. I was just being hyperbolic, so don't get your panties in a bunch. The shade names did come in this card, which looked huge in the PR packages. I think the PR packages had like really big ones. This is a baby one. You can also download it off the Morphe website. There is a PDF if you're really curious about the shade names, that is fine. So first I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this palette for you guys so we can see all the beautiful shades again. And uh, then we'll just talk about my thoughts on the So I'm swatching horizontally, not vertically, so I can use my five fingers each time. So the first shade we have is called End Light. Next is Creamsicle, Obsessed, and then we have Royalty and Pool Party. And Creamsicle and, and Light decided to hang out together, so they're kind of crowded together, but those are the first row of shadows. And they swiped on really nicely. I think the pigmentation is really good in this palette. Okay, these are the next five shades. We have Beam, we have Butter, we have SBN, and then we have Twerk, and we have Jada. These are super beautiful shades as well. The, pa the palette really starts off really fun going left to right. Once I hit the right side, I'm like, ugh snooze because they're all like super boring shadows on the not that they're super boring but the left side's definitely more fun more of the party side like if you look over here okay so this is where the muted colors kind of start off on the third row here so let's see with the swatches 
So we have silk, we have pooter, we have hilster, we have hustle, and we have diva. So there are those shades in the next row. I like that she named the shadows. I think that's a little bit unique because Morphe palettes don't usually have names. So I think it's nice if you want to like follow along on a tutorial or something like that. But I think it's really weird that they like did an extra card and the names were not printed on the palettes itself. I know a lot of people mention that, but I just wanted to mention it too because I agree with them. So there is the next row right here. Also very similar to the previous row. If you kind of look at them really close, they are very identical. Same tones, um, you know, like there's two greens, two like taupey shades, two browns, like very similar, kind of repetitive there. Um, but you know, they have to have variety, so I get why. But this row is, to me, is very boring. And so their shades are NFEO, Pukey, which I think is a really fun name, Roxanne, which is apparently Jacqueline's middle name, Meeks, and then Enchanted, which, you know, it's a forest green, so Enchanted Forest, like, we get it. Uh -huh. Okay, so now this is where the palette starts turning into the 35O palette for me, okay? And we're going to look at the 35O palette, and you guys are going to see that I'm not crazy. It definitely has 35O palette vibes, so... This is row number five. So we have Faint, we have Hunts, we have Jax, we have 24-7, and Central Park, which was supposed to be called Central Perk. She didn't want to get sued by the creators of Friends, but that's like Jacqueline's favorite show. You guys, I'm a hillster, okay? I really am a hillster, um, and I watch her all the time. I just watched her video with Kim Kardashian, I didn't like that one so much because I could just tell it was an ad. Nobody liked those stupid contour sticks, okay? I'm sorry, Kim Kardashian, but quit trying to like meddle in the realm of YouTube. And then Kim Kardashian was like, oh yeah, I was just so fascinated by like YouTube. And like your video was the first video review I saw of our collab um, with me and Kylie. And I'm like, okay, first of all, you're like you got famous making a sex tape like of course you know how youtube works like you know this is going to boost publicity not only do you have a huge fan base but jacqueline hill has a huge fan base so obviously you're just trying to like capitalize like we understand how marketing works and i'm not gonna buy it like i'm sorry not gonna buy it okay so next i have the next five shades i honestly love the shade sissy which she dedicated to her sister um, nothing to do with how much I like her sister. I just think it's a cool shade. It's not very often that you see dual chromes by Morphe, and this one is definitely a pink with a gold dual chrome. So that shade is called Sissy. Then we have Firework, we have Buns, we have Chip, and Soda Pop. Okay, now we're gonna swatch the last row, and there are some metallics in here. And she included a black, which, hallelujah, everyone got really excited. There they are, and in this row we have Little Lady, Queen, Cranapple, Mocha, and Abyss. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those swatches. Now, if you guys watch some of the sassier YouTubers out there, I definitely have heard people say, like, how, how did this take two years to create? And I honestly am on that bandwagon. I don't understand how it took them so long to put this palette together. I feel like, I don't know if that's just the story they're peddling because it makes no sense to me. I know for sure um, Total Makeup Junkie 101 said she did a comparison of Morphe's regular formula of eyeshadows and a comparison with Jaclyn Hill's formula and they're identical. So from what I can tell, all she had to do is literally pick out the shades. No shade to Jaclyn Hill, I just don't understand why they try to say like, Oh, it took us two years. This is my baby. And I'm pretty sure Jacqueline Hill said in her video or like on her Snapchat that this was an all new formula and it's not. So I'm confused about that. I'm also confused about the price. Like I said, a regular Morphe palette is $29.99. So obviously the $38 almost like it's double the price is probably because Jacqueline Hill's involved. Like I just don't understand. Like I feel like, you know, they had to pay more because there was a celebrity involved and I think it's crazy. I do feel like the palette was incredibly overhyped. 
it just was crazy i think morphe did a decent job of handling it where it didn't sell out right away so definitely that they did have enough units created but i think makeup companies have like set themselves up almost to failure where if your product doesn't sell out right away now you're almost like looking bad because i have that happen to me when jeffree star's like summer collection came out i was expecting it to sell out right away and then i noticed like a lot of his shades are still available i actually don't know if they ever sold out but i did realize a couple of days later that all the shades were still available and i was like wait is there something wrong with the new summer collection like are people not liking the shades or is he like losing his following is he not as popular as he used to be these things kind of ran through my mind so i feel like it's a really thin line between like selling out right away and like being on the shelves too long so like i feel like makeup companies have really dug themselves their own grave with that situation because if something doesn't sell out very quickly i'm almost like is the product even like worth it like is it good maybe it is fabulous and we're just like no no you know same thing kind of happened with tarte and when they did the tarte pro palette the tartise pro palette they did that whole big trip with the influencers and went to Bora Bora and gave them drones and they were like releasing a new product every day and I was like you know what fuck you Tarte because your products suck and then you're gonna fly all these people to freaking Bora Bora and release a brand new palette and I'm not gonna buy it because you don't need to spend that kind of money and you should be focusing on creating new awesome products and making the quality awesome not like flying these people to exotic locations like take them to New York down the street or something you don't have to fucking fly them to the other end of the world you know what i'm saying like it's a little too much so anyway that's probably for another video but i just think it's so weird that companies have like tried to create all this hype and it's just so weird i'm just not for it so anyway i did get the palette because i do love jacqueline hill no matter what i do think she is gorgeous i love her makeup i love her artistry i wish she would upload more <laughs> I really do. I hate how like the bigger YouTubers, it's like you get content from them like once a week if you're lucky. So you know they're all making it because they don't even need to do YouTube anymore to make money, which is crazy, but good for them. So anyway, what I wanted to do was just compare the, you know, the palettes, like the packaging. Um, so this is cardboard packaging. This is what the Morphe regular packaging looks like. It's like a plastic shell. And I honestly personally prefer this. So I don't know if the cardboard costs more money, if that's why the palette is more expensive, but honestly, I would have rather taken it in the plastic because I think it is sturdier. Kathleen Light's palette um, from when she collabed with Morphe was also cardboard, so, but this was $19. It's just crazy to me because I know maybe Kathleen just is more price conscious and they like understand that her fan base is so young, but let's swatch you know this shade is from the Kathleen palette and this is from the Jaclyn palette and honestly like I don't see a difference in the formula I think they use the exact same thing that Morphe has always been doing so to me I like this palette because I do like Morphe palettes I don't think they're bad I think for the $22 price you know you get what you paid for if you look at the 35O palette which is the one that really like broke the internet for Morphe um if you just look at these rows it's basically the same thing you know what I mean and then she threw in some of those colors and made it a little more fun so if we go like this you're basically seeing the same shades so I really don't think Jacqueline reinvented the wheel here with these palettes with these colors I was talking to you guys about the colored rain eyeshadows the other day and I like literally was like wow I really was like feeling those blues that one day huh so really she didn't give us anything unique as far as I'm concerned but I do think it's a great palette I think the quality is great for Morphe I just the only thing I don't agree with is the price like everything stayed the same except they added Jaclyn Hill but the price went up like doubled so that part I don't understand so if you guys have any thoughts on that definitely leave me a comment down below because I'd be interested in hearing from all of you guys about what your thoughts were on this palette like are you glad you got a hold of it because I sure am I'm glad I got it 
It was a real pain in the ass. The website definitely crashed, but I got in the queue and I made it through. And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have it because I missed out on the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette, which in retrospect, I'm glad I don't have because I probably wouldn't use it. Just like all my other Morphe palettes that are now like sitting here rotting away. But um, yeah, this is the 35 old palette. This is probably one of the only Morphe palettes that I've used like consistently. <laughs> for a while because I was really in love with this palette um, but yeah the Jacqueline Hill palette it just reminds me so much of the 35 Old palette with just some fun pops of color. Okay guys if you stuck around till the end of the video I have an awesome surprise for you guys. I did manage to snag an extra palette in the first launch of the Jacqueline Hill palettes so I have one extra to give one lucky subscriber we are doing a giveaway and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and as soon as I hit 550 subscribers on my channel your name will go into a drawing to win this palette and I will mail it to you guys. I am going to make this US only only because I don't know how like customs and shipping will work out and I want to be able to make sure that whoever wins the palette is actually able to get their hands on it. If you have somebody in the US that I can send it to that works out too as long as you guys can figure it out like if somebody could bring it to you if you're in another country we can go that route I will be open to something like that because um, I, I know a lot of people travel back and forth from the United States as well or if you have like a delivery service that I can send it to and they will ship it to your country that is fine as well as long as you assume all those responsibilities blah 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 but as far as this giveaway goes as soon as we hit 550 all of my subscribers will be entered into a drawing to win an extra Jaclyn Hill palette. So I hope you guys are excited. If you missed the restock, which is July 18th, there is still hope for you guys to win a palette. Just share my videos and my YouTube channel with your friends and family and get them to subscribe. Okay, so hopefully that was good incentive to stay till the end. Leave me a comment down below if you did make it to the end. Just let me know that you are entering the contest and I'm just so excited for you guys. Hopefully one of you deserving subbies will win and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!